Welcome back legal hustlers. In this video, we explore the four main sources of law, custom and treaty, legislation, precedent, and constitutional law. We explain what each source of law means, and how they apply to the legal system of a country. Let's whole module in story form. Once upon a time in a small village, there lived a group of people WHO followed certain unwritten rules and practices that had been developed over a long period of time. These practices became known as customary law and were passed down from generation to generation. For example, it was customary for the villages to hold a community gathering every month to discuss issues and make decisions about the village. One day, a group of travelers came to the village and introduced a new way of doing things. They had a written agreement, called a treaty, which they asked the villages to sign. The treaty outlined a set of rules and regulations that the villages would have to follow in order to trade with the travelers. The villagers were unsure about the treaty and sought advice from their local government. The government decided to pass a law based on the treaty, making it mandatory for all villages to follow the rules outlined in the agreement. Over time, the villagers found that some of the rules in the treaty and the new law did not suit their way of life. They took the matter to court, and the judge ruled in their favor, stating that the new law was in conflict with their customary practices. The judge's decision became a precedent, which meant that it would be followed in future cases with similar facts and legal issues. In the end, the villages were allowed to continue with their customary practices, and the new law was amended to accommodate their way of life. The precedent set by the judge ensured that future cases would be decided in a way that upheld the villages, customary law while also respecting the new treaty and law. The concept of sources of law. Sources of law refer to the origins or are authorities from which legal rules and principles derive their validity and authority. These sources may vary depending on the legal system and may include constitutions, legislation, judicial decisions, administrative regulations, customs, and international treaties. Each source of law plays a distinct role in shaping legal systems and regulating societal behavior. Understanding the sources of law is crucial for legal practitioners, lawmakers, and individuals seeking to navigate legal systems. How the law is created and where it comes from. Law can be created through legislation or judicial decision-making, which varies depending on the legal system. Sources of law include constitutional provisions, statutes, administrative regulations, judicial decisions, customary practices, and international treaties. These sources provide the validity and authority for legal rules and principles. Understanding the sources of law is crucial for legal practitioners, lawmakers, and individuals navigating legal systems. Custom and treaty. Custom is an unwritten practice that is recognized as law in many legal systems, particularly in common law systems. It can be used to fill gaps in legislation and to establish legal rights and obligations. For example, adverse possession in property law is a concept recognized as a legal principle in many common law jurisdictions, despite not being explicitly set out in legislation. Treaties are international. Agreements between states or international organizations, which can create binding legal obligations. Examples of international treaties that are recognized as sources of law include the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, the Geneva Conventions, and the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. Legislation. Legislation, such as statutes and regulations, is a crucial source of law that sets out rules and principles that apply to a wide range of issues. Legislation. Legislation is important because it can address new or emerging issues and can clarify or update existing laws. It is created through a democratic process by a legislative body, such as a parliament or congress, and enforced by the executive branch of government. Regulations, a type of legislation, are created by administrative agencies and have the force of law. Legislation can be challenged and changed by court challenges, amending or repealing the law, or by public participation in the legislative process through lobbying or public comment periods on proposed legislation. Precedent. Precedent, or stare decisis, is a fundamental principle in common law legal rely on previous court decisions to interpret and apply the law. Precedent can help clarify ambiguous legal principles, establish new legal principles, and balance competing interests. Systems where lower courts follow the decisions of higher courts in similar cases. 
Precedent provides consistency and predictability in the law, and judges however, precedent can be challenged and changed by higher courts overruling or distinguishing previous decisions, legislatures passing laws that modify existing case law, or legal scholars advocating for changes based on social, economic, or other considerations. Overall, precedent is a crucial source of law that plays a significant role in shaping the legal landscape. Custom and Treaty Custom is an unwritten practice that is recognized as law in many legal systems, particularly in common law systems. It can be used to fill gaps in legislation and to establish legal rights and obligations. For example, adverse possession in property law is a concept recognized as a legal principle in many common law jurisdictions, despite not being explicitly set out in legislation. Treaties are international. Agreements between states are international organizations, which can create binding legal obligations. Examples of international treaties that are recognized as sources of law include the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, the Geneva Conventions, and the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. Precedent is created when a court issues a decision on a legal issue, which then becomes binding on lower courts in future cases that involve the same issue. It provides consistency and predictability in the law, but can also be challenged and changed by higher courts or new legislation. Treaties are agreements between states or international organizations that establish legal obligations between the parties. They can be used as a source of law in international law, but may not be enforced in the same way as domestic legislation. Thank you for watching. We're thrilled to have you here and hope that you find our content informative, engaging, and entertaining. Be sure to like, share and subscribe and don't forget to join us for further updates.